Contra Cuz uh, music here at uh, YouTube, and what I'm going to be doing today is discussing some technical things about the lap steel guitar. This is my lap steel guitar. It is tuned up in the uh, standard, what I call standard open E tuning. First string, that's an E. B, G sharp, E, B, and E. E, B, E, G sharp, B, and E. Alright, what we're going to be talking about today and I've got a loop set up on my pedal I may play along with here in a minute on my guitar, but what we're going to be doing, and I hope, and y'all please comment, let me know, do I need to come in closer? I'm trying to keep the uh, main guitar in my uh, frame here. But anyway, we're going to refer to the strings as your little string being one, and that's your E, B string two, G sharp three, E four, B5 and E's uh, 6. Anyway, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In that order. I am using a volume pedal down here on the floor. You can't see it, but. Anyway, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be playing in the key of G today. And. Of course, it's in old me, so that would be open E, F, F sharp, and then to your G. Alright, and of course, your one chord in the G is on your third fret. And of course, your four chord is your next progression is going to be six frets away. chord is a D and that's going to be eight away. Alright, here's what the, I'm going to be talking about, giving you that pedal steel sound. I do, uh, when I'm playing, I done got in the habit, I do a lot of movements and uh, some of them I call them a windshield wiper effect, like just tilt the bar back and stay on, and I'm using the uh, two and three string to pluck up. I also, when I'm playing, I'm kind of picking up on the strings. Anyway, the main string, and of course I did teach you about the scale, and we're going to do whole step and half step. On your uh, third string, on this, which is your G sharp, yes. you only move it a half step. step on that string most of the time. Alright, another thing is uh, when I'm doing the uh, slants like this Anyway, my slants I am plucking up on number three string and number one. I'm bypassing the number two string, which is B. So I'm just using. And here. Sometimes I'll come up to over my G with the slant, pick the one and two. Uh, the three string.
setting yourself up to go back to the five chord a lot of times I'll go to what they call the two chord which is an actually an A minor Another thing, when you see me playing a lot, you'll see me doing this. And what I'm doing basically is following the scale, except instead of a lot of time I just bend it over there and give it that crying sound. I went a whole step here and a half step on the uh, third string. That, that one right there is your second string. And that's back to your G note. And if you play around with them scales after a while instead of doing that you can kicking off a song a lot of times if I'm in G I start up here in the F which is your very first fret and use that two chord I'm skipping that's playing that one and three string again from the top but here's another trick I call it pause alright I'm gonna slide all the way down here to the C Instead of, instead of making it sound like that, I'm going to pause it at the A and the B. Now that's a whole step, a whole step, and a half step. See, I pause it going to the D. you playing in the A Of course, 
you gar. <laughs> playing too, I'll just play a single note like G C Back to your D Back to your G note Same thing down here, you'll see me play a G be where you would normally do your uh, D chord. Then when I'm going back to G, instead of going way up here, I'll just... That's another G. Alright, but anyway, uh, I'm trying to help you. Oh, me, uh, same thing applies if you're in the open uh, D, your one chord and your four chord, your five chord and all that. Of course, it's going to change in sequence. Uh, I got these lessons online. That's the Nashville number system I'm talking about. That's called a double roll. You slide up from a half a step, back to a half a step, and back in. Do you see? Same thing going backwards. And then that D, I went a whole step. I started on the C note right there, or the C chord. Simple little rhythm track I created on my, uh, oh, I'm using a, a PV amps with Viper modeling amp set on the twin setting. I've got the uh, low set at 1 o'clock, the high set at 1 o'clock, and the, I mean the mid set at 1 o'clock, and the highs, I got them cranked up to 2 o'clock so we can get that bite in there. So using it on clean with some reverb. That's it. All right. Anyway, let's get it down to our backing track and that I just created, and hope I remember what I was doing here.
hope you saw that in the camera and hope you understand it. But like I said, you that G. Slide back a half a step. Then go a whole step. Whole step. Then a half step to see. But you pause. Slid in. And anyway, that's uh, basically uh, country and gospel music lesson. And let me know what you like. We we can get on a rock lesson if you like. Uh, Thank you in the comment. I appreciate everybody stopping by, taking a look, see. I hope I help somebody out there. And if there's one part of the technique that I was showing you don't understand, just uh, write it down below here in the comments. I'll get you an answer and answer back with you and all. But anyway, that's a pretty basic lap steel, and it's something you have to work at to learn and, and I still say this is the easiest instrument in the world to learn how to play. Anybody can do it. Uh, matter of fact, I'm fixing to make some left-handed ones because believe it or not, I got some customers that is wrote me and won't know why I don't have a left-handed model. So all I have to do, change the input jack. I'm going to start probably putting the thing in the dead center back and that way you can put strings on left or right whichever way you want it you know and it'll be left handed to right handed but anyway i'm gonna do some studying on it i know up here at the nut i will have to cut up for the big string and it's not cut as deep as the little string because i try to level on the string and when you're looking for a lap steel guitar please whatever you do get one like a fully adjustable saddle where you can set the intonation, but mostly imported is when you lay the bar across it, it needs to lay flat. I also have a video on that. Thank y'all for taking the time to stop by, and hope everybody out there has a great day. Cut.